So I get a subscriber uh, uh-huh. that reached that reached out to me, uh-huh. and he said, "Yo, lockout. Uh, you know, Monique is leaving ship ads. Uh, we need more information on that, bro." And I'm over here like, wait, what do you mean she leaving? Sh- I didn't even know. So that's why. I was wondering how you knew who's their subscriber. Ah, man, I can't remember. I can't remember the name, but I'll definitely put it in the. I'll definitely put it in the. In the. In the. In the. I'll put the. You know, I'll put it up and send the. Send the link. The the link in the video to you. But Monique, man, what's yeah? What's 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 <laughs> What's going on? I mean, let's let's start at the hold up. Let's let's start at the top now. Since we spoke, everything was good. Okay. Yeah, it, it's it, a good company, right? Everything was good. As a matter of fact, you you even went on Trucker Brown show to to, to promote the company. Yeah, and, I did. Uh, and um, and of course, you know, everybody from you know my side of the camp was still you know coming over to you guys to, to jump on, you know, jump on the bandwagon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Monique, what happened? Yeah. What happened? I, you know, I have, have, have been very dedicated with ShipX for almost four years. So, mm-hmm. um, and when I say dedicated, I mean dedicated. I, I was I there understand. for the drivers, 100% fought for them all the time. I was their advocate. I, I did a lot to make you know things happen for them and right. give them you know peace of mind and better better time you, there you, <laughs> you was the you you was the ambassador because like i said yeah. when i when when me and you was talking i mean we i mean we had a good we we yeah. had we had a good show uh, you know a lot of people was engaging on that show and mm-hmm. And I'm I'm going to assume maybe a few more people uh, reached out to you guys afterwards. So, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm probably. Um, I didn't keep track of it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not the one who does. But uh, it just became, it came down to uh, more of a work-life balance. Right. Um, and, you know, compensation appreciation type of thing. Okay. So okay. that okay. was that was kind of a, I have nothing like against the company or anything like that. I still think it's a great company for drivers to go to. We do we're continuing to improve, mm-hmm. um, and they do take my feedback from the drivers when I do talk to the drivers, and they do listen and they do respond. And but at this time, it was just I just need to not be doing something where it consumes my life, you know? So on my time off, I'm never off. I'm always working. Gotcha. And that's understandable. Drivers are always calling me, texting me all hours of the night. Cause they really have no concept of time and time zones when they're out there. They just kind of feel like everyone's now, available. Now, let me ask you this. Why? Oh, okay. You being the, you, you being the, uh, uh, the, the, the recruiter, you know, hit, you know, hit recruiter, you know, why are mm-hmm. the why 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 are the drivers are still um calling you and not their say yeah. like say like not well let me see uh, if if they had like an issue with their dispatcher they they should have like maybe a mentor or something like that that they can call and 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 talk to I mean, it's still that was cool. Me. It's still it's still cool to call you, but yeah, understand that. I, I they called me for everything because they knew that if they called me, it would happen. They get done. They get they get done. They get a response. People listen to me. Drivers trust me over anyone else in the company. Wow. Now considering so, now considering the fact that that uh, that you got that type of pull. You should be getting compensated a little bit better than what <laughs> what, what you're getting compensated at. Uh, should, uh, yeah. Am I am I safe to say that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so are you recording this? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but 
they they did fight to keep me they did try and it came down to just my health um a good life balance because anyone in those roles they've offered me different positions it is not like they didn't fight for me to stay and it was a hard decision it's a bittersweet for me i do love the drivers that i've gotten to know and i and love that, that i could do that. For that matter i mean you you put a lot of drivers on Yes, I did. I did in the three years, well, over three years I was there, I, I hired 373 drivers total. Damn it, man. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Out of, out of the three, out of the 300 and something, how many stayed? You know what? I'd have to go back and look. I, it's not information that I just kind of carry with me. And the only reason why I had that number is because I just recently pulled it up because I wanted to see what my success was um at Chippet, what I, yeah just to see what i had contributed to that and yes compensation would have would have been great to have but it doesn't it's not all about the money for me it's you know i i would like to breathe i want to breathe and being in this position this industry and knowing that the drivers know that they will come to me, it doesn't give me a chance to do that. And so right. I want to be able to live and I want to be able to take a day off without having a phone call from whether it's a driver or some an employee or whatever it is. Right. I want to be able to kind of live my life. And I've got a new position. It's not in trucking. Um, it is still recruiting, but it's more for like corporations. Um, and it allows me to work from home and create my own hours. Whether or not it's going to work out, I don't know. But I'm going to take a leap of faith and try it. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, out, out of the 300 that that you did bring on... Were you able to like get like a referral bonus from them for bringing I, for bringing I, them on? Yeah, I get paid commission. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. So, wow. I mean, I'm I'm shocked. <laughs> I, I, I I I am I am totally I am totally totally in shock right now because. This is like uh, this when 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 they 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 put it in a post they they put it in the uh in the episode it must be one of our drivers <laughs> yeah they they put it in a, you know in the episode where we you know where you actually came on and that's they was like well you know uh, you know she's leaving and we need to know <laughs> if we need to know you know what's what's going on and I'm like wait a minute bro I'm like I. I, I, I mean, because, you know, I follow you on Instagram and I'm assuming, yeah. you know, I'm assuming the, you know, the last few pictures, pictures that you posted of your family. I think that's the balance of what you're yes. looking for. Right. Yes. Yes, it is. So, yeah. It's really nothing. Problem. There's not a problem. There's not a problem. Like I said, there's things that are that ShipX is going to be bringing to the table that are going to make it even better. Mm -hmm. And that's what they just continue to do. It's really was just a personal choice for my health, for my sanity, and for my family. So that's really all it is. And, you know, if I ever needed to go back, I could go back to ShipX. And they would they would hire me. And, it, you know, things could be different. I could go into a different position mm -hmm. or just, just be a recruiter, not manage. They, they did fight. They did offer things. And end of the day, it just... I just need you, to, you if said, I'm not I, happy at a position. I need, you just said I need to breathe. That's that's all yeah. it is. That's all yeah. it is. You need to breathe. You brought you brought a lot to the table. You you have brought a lot to the table. I I I whole humbly commend you. Uh, mm -hmm. You was able to you you was able to get the Lockout Man podcast show. You know, compensated for the <laughs> for the interview. So we we definitely uh appreciate what you did for that um and we and and you know we, and we still stay you know we still stay friends afterwards you know i i, I mean you know i'm i'm sad to see that that one of their you know one of their brightest 
you know, it's leaving, <laughs> but you know, you really have to make, you know, you have to make it, uh, you, you have to make it for you. You have to look out for you. So, you know, with, with that said, you know, it's just, uh, it's bitter. Like you said, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. So, but, uh, Monique, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I, I uh, again, I appreciate you coming back one and, and giving me this exclusive. So thank you very much. Sorry that it wasn't juicier or anything uh, like no, that. <laughs> no, no, no. It better not have been. <laughs> no, no, it, it wasn't. Uh, it, no, it, not it, at all. It better not have been. Uh, but you know, it 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 you know, you had to do you had to do what what works for you and your family. So Yes. Yeah. You know, and I and I understand that whole hum wholeheartedly so, so yes what, absolutely so what is you know without going into too much detail because people don't need to know where you're going but what's next for uh for monique the former the former superstar of <laughs> ship <X? laughs> uh, i'm not sure i'd call me that but uh i'm just like i said i'm gonna be recruiting mm -hmm. i'm not in transportation at all it's just it's just as a headhunter for, you know, executives, admins, just placing candidates in positions across the nation. Okay. And if you need some help, you know who to call, right? You yeah, know, I do. You know who to call, right, <laughs> if you need some help. I, I, You know, if you need some help. You know, get you know, give us give us a call, and you know we can uh we can get back on the live feed and 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 and, and get it out there for you. So. Absolutely. And I will say this, that if a driver is looking for a good company that does actually listen to their drivers, it is still such a great company to work for. All right. Ship bets, everybody. Ship bets. Monique, yo, definitely much, much success to you. Much love to you. Uh, and yeah. again, like I said, I, I do appreciate you coming on and uh, and uh, clear, clearing the air that i should say because we don't mm -hmm. we we don't need speculations you know because no, you know, no, he, you know he, people could people could be like you know when he put that comment in in the you know in the comment session you know people would be like oh well this that and the third yeah. no no everybody here she <laughs> is right from the horse's <laughs> mouth so yep. that it will no be no mistakes or anything like that so yeah well i'm glad i could clear the air it's crazy how it reached back to you <laughs> so hey. that's insane um when you told me that i was in shock and i kind of was i didn't know it was being recorded either so just so you guys know <laughs> it's all true <laughs> no doubt no doubt um um let me add so when is the when when is the last day when when is the tomorrow. last day tomorrow tomorrow mm -hmm. all right so uh what thursday why why you just didn't wait to, why you just didn't wait to friday payday like you know well our pays are different we our end of our pay period is tomorrow and also my mom comes in tomorrow night so i want to spend friday with her that's what's up that's what's up I definitely Monique thank you very much thank you very much now